So tree stands and tripod stands are set to come out on June 3rd and with them are going to come a lot more opportunities to earn cash and experience and all that good stuff really quickly in the Hunter Call of the Wild. So today I wanted to look at what's going to be, in my opinion, one of the best ways for anybody to earn that cash and XP and that is going to be using tripods on Verhunga and hunting Gemsbuck. And Red Deer were actually my first choice but then I remembered that you have to be, I think, level 29 to unlock the Red Deer Caller, whereas it's a much lower level to unlock the Antler Rattler, which will call in Gemsbuck. So, you do have to have Weapon Pack 1 for this exact thing. The normal bow will work just fine, and that you unlock pretty early in the game as well. But I'm going to be using the crossbow just because it's a little more accurate. I'm able to shoot a little further if the wind isn't working out in my favor, and in general, just going to be easier to deal with. But the basic premise here, if you don't know, not only do tree stands and tripods reduce visibility and scent, they also reduce hunting pressure from animals shot out of them by 25%. So if my math is right, I can basically shoot 15 Gemsbuck here before I delete their drink zone. So then, if I shoot 15, I shoot the 15th one, and then I go to another spot. That is going to be insane, and of course there's a level 5 here, so we're going to try to uh, take that one out first. But then we're going to sit here and drop as many as we can. But I'm sure you can see, with good wind, I mean, even these tripods, they are insane. These Gemsbuck are coming right up to me. They run when they get basically underneath me, but it's ridiculous how close they'll actually get. Of course, the level 5 doesn't want to really cooperate, but that's about what a max level animal would do. So just because he is a bigger one, we are going to get him. And the other nice thing about Gemsbuck is they do give really good cash. I kind of forgot to talk about that at the beginning. They are quite similar to Red Deer in the amounts of cash they give out, and... All of them have scores, whereas female Red Deer, of course, can pretty much max a 500. Female Gemsbuck go up to 1,000. All of them are pretty decent scoring, and higher scoring animals do give you more cash, which is nice. So, if you do end up actually getting the crossbow specifically for this, I should quickly explain zeroing. So, basically, the zero distance, or zero for 30, is the top pin. So, that's going to be double lung. He's down right there. So, even if we're not dropping them... If we're making double lung shots with this crossbow, they're not going anywhere. Like, we're not going to have to do much tracking. And the nice thing about this spot, this is uh, right outside the starting lodge here. So, we're just right up here. There are Warthog too. They don't give us good cash. I'm probably not going to shoot any today. But you could sit there and drop those too. But quickly back to the crossbow zeroing. So, as I said, the top dot is your zeroing distance. But the dot below that is basically 20 meters beyond the zero distance. And the bottom dot would then be 40 meters beyond the zero distance. So basically, it is 20 meter intervals. If I zero for 10, I'm getting 10, 30, 50. If I zero for 50, it's 50, 70, 90. 30 would be 30, 50, 70. But let's zero for 10 and then use that middle dot basically as my 30 meter one just to show you that. It's nice if you need to go for a longer shot, but again, not going anywhere. I'm not going to have to track. I'm just going to have to keep count of how many Gibbsbuck I kill. So I don't leave any and then lose my consec at the end and, of course, pretty much waste the money because I wouldn't be picking it up. Now, of course, the unforeseen problem with this setup was the level 5 Gimsbuck being there. But, I don't know where I hit that to drop it so quickly. Basically, what should be happening is they're all fleeing in this direction so the wind is better. But since I was letting all the other ones go by me, they're coming in from downwind and I just have to go for a little further shots. But again, with the crossbow, that's kind of the, the nice thing about having it over the normal bow. It's just going to be much easier to make shots at a little further range, especially when I'm being forced to do so due to them spooking otherwise. But I think by now you can probably see why this is going to work. We've just got basically a never ending string of Gemsbuck coming in. And as long as I make decent shots, which somehow I've managed to make two perfect drop shots in a row, I'm just going to sit here and basically collect money. I've been recording for 13 minutes and a good chunk of it was walking over from the lodge. Now, I should say, if you're trying this on beta, and I don't know if they fixed it yet, uh, tripod stands weren't, and tree stands for that matter, weren't actually staying on the map if you left. So I've got tents there. If I were to crash or leave the game, I can just spawn at that tent and place the tripod. Because one other weird thing that's been happening is basically I am, like, if I were to fast travel to this tent, nothing would be here. It seems like I have to leave and then come back, and then the animal spawns, so I walked over from the lodge, just so, I mean, you can prove that obviously you don't need the tent, but it's definitely useful, at least for working around that little bug that seems to be happening. And this would actually work using a rifle as well. Like, I could sit here and I could take 
all those ones across the water and just use the tripod's advantage of not having nearly as much hunting pressure and pretty much do the exact same thing. But the advantages of using the bow, number one, I do think animals come back sooner if you use a bow. I might be wrong about that. Maybe it's just me trying to attribute things to the, the tripod and all that that maybe aren't there. But the other side of it is animals that are maybe, I don't know, 60 meters away, gemsbuck that are coming back. They wouldn't have heard that, and they're just going to be back that much more quickly. So you're a little more efficient. Again, as long as you're making decent shots with the crossbow, which, as I hopefully have shown, is not that difficult, it definitely is more efficient than using a gun. But in the interest of showing that you can pretty much just do this on a much larger scale than just using one spot, let's just pretend we've shot all 15 of our Gemsbuck, and we don't want to delete this zone. So we're going to claim everything here, go see if that level 5 was a diamond, and then we are going to go to one of the other spots that I set up quickly just to, again, show that you can pretty much have multiple setups and just get ridiculous amounts of money in not much time. Again, I'm like 15 minutes into this, and a lot of it's been walking over, as I said. So that was, I guess, the second biggest one, 834. But, by the way, 1400 cash for a pretty much small gold Gems Bug. Like, they give really, really good cash amounts. And I think... This, then, is our 5, if I'm not mistaken. It is, and he's just a big gold. 933, but he's 1,400 cash. The cash amounts you get from these guys are ridiculous, and I should have shown on a female. I don't think I have any down, but we're going to another spot, and I'll show you uh, what the cash is from one of them. I guess while we're running down here, I should actually mention what the setup for this is. So, with Gemsbuck, they drink from 4 a.m. to 8 a.m., and at nearly every lake on the map. I don't think I've ever had Gemsbuck at this lake, and maybe not this lake, but literally every other lake on this map, I have seen Gemsbuck drinking there. So you pretty much find a lake, you find a zone, and then you put a tripod somewhere near enough to the zone that you can just call them to your tripod if you're not close enough to just catch them as they go by. And it's pretty much as simple as that. If you're switching spots, change the time back so you're not going to have them uh, leaving the zone, and you're good. It's, it's a very simple setup that gets insane cash. So we've made it to our next spot, and I'll go ahead and show that uh, on the map quickly in case you're curious where I'm doing this. But same exact idea. I'm going to climb in the tripod. I'm going to just call these ones over from the zone. And then every time they spook, if they go back over there, I'm going to call them in. If they go back by me, I could just take them. But it's this lake kind of in the bottom middle, probably the furthest south lake, actually. It's a really good spot for Gemsbuck. You get a lot of them there. And like the first lake, Warthog are pretty common there. Uh, you get Jackal here, Rabbits. You can shoot a lot of stuff. Again, not as good money as the Gemsbuck, but you could probably maybe be a little more efficient with the amount of animals you're taking. So XP could be definitely something worth looking at doing it that way. So it would pretty much always be a good idea to try to take the bigger ones because, of course, they will give more cash. So I'll take this guy, but I do want to definitely get a female and try to take a look at what the, uh, the cash amounts are for, like, a, a silver. Because I'm not entirely sure, but it's still a really high number compared to pretty much anything else you could take in the game that would be silver. That's actually perfect. That's not a very big two at all. The crazy thing is they really... They come in pretty fast, and I guess they're probably returning to their zone. But a lot of animals take their time coming into a call, so this is also more efficient doing it that way. So we'll just take that one there. And... Is that one going to spook? I don't know. Oh, it might be stuck. No, it's not stuck. All right. Well, if it stops again, or I guess I can just call it back. I should range that and make sure I'm not going to mess up a shot and have to track one, but yeah, that was about 50. Can you go broadside again? I think it's going to. Probably. Mm, that looked good. Yeah, got it in the lungs. Just gotta remember that one's over there. So I'm trying not to call because I just spotted actually a level 4 uh, female, which could be diamond. And we might as well try to get that. Ooh, that was... Well, it looked far back, but I guess I got the back of the lungs because he went down really quickly. But the idea here is I don't want to call in the level 4 because it's going to be way slower. But if it wants to just trot into the zone, it should get there a lot more quickly. So she is... Probably that one that we can't spot, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to get that, and then we'll probably wrap it up. I kind of think she might have gotten herself in a spot where she just doesn't know how to get down the hill. 
because all the other ones are just going around and she's just kind of standing there so I think in the interest of time I'm probably gonna take her with the 338 even though I wanted to uh, use the crossbow for this I think we'll just take her down now I do need to number one take a look at the cash from the level two which might have been this one and also I need to make sure I pick everything up so we're not gonna like lose consec at the last minute but that's a level two giving 1254 cash for a 668 silver. That is why I think the Gemsbuck are going to be maybe the best cash farming animal in the game. As I said, red deer are also really good. There's bigger herds of them, but there might be more spots here on Verhunga to where as long as you've got a couple of setups, you can probably equal the amount, if not beat the amount of red deer you'd get in the same amount of time. You know, you keep experimenting with it, you find more uh, areas, you're only going to get better and more efficient. So, yeah, if you're watching this after tree stands and tripods are officially out, let me know in the comments how that's working out for you. Hopefully nothing's changed with the way they work, because right now it is going to be the way to earn money, to earn experience, to level up, all of that stuff. And as I said in the last video, I think respawns as well. You could be looking at a pretty good opportunity to do this with any animal, really, uh, for something you want a diamond on. If you want a diamond gemsbuck, do this if you want to, I don't know, a diamond whitetail. Do the same idea, but with whitetail. I think it could really work out. And that is, unfortunately, another big gold. 945. And interestingly, I wonder if the weight is actually what impacts the total cash. Because that's a higher score than the male we had earlier, the level 5. But it's a lower cash. So that might be a thing. In that case, males might be the way to go all around. But, taxidermize that anyway. And that is going to do it. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.